So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, Google Pixel 6a versus iPhone SE 2022 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now, Google Pixels typically do boot up very fast. We are rocking with the Google Tensor CPU, six gigabytes of RAM. Over here, we do have the Apple A15 Bionic chipset, and this does have four gigabytes of RAM for the iPhone SE 2022. You could see it looks like the SE did boot up slightly faster, but only by a hair. The weird thing about this comparison is I look back to a video I made four years ago, the iPhone 8 versus Pixel 2 speed test. And this phone literally looks the same as an iPhone from four years ago. So Apple really needs to upgrade the design on there. You can see the Pixel 6a much more modern, much more contemporary, but so far a slight win to the SE on that boot up test. All right, so let's go ahead and do a fingerprint test on both of these. We're gonna go ahead and see which one is quicker. I, did, I just switched aside for this test because I'm not a lefty, so I'll probably fail with the Pixel here, but with Touch ID, it's pretty easy. You can see right there, Pretty similar on the unlock. Sometimes the pixel misses though. I will say I've been testing out this pixel for a couple days and the fingerprint's just okay. It's not the best one I've seen out there. I think the S22 Ultra has a better fingerprint, but the SE right here has a tried and true touch ID. It's physical, there's no in-display stuff. So I would say the SE probably wins in that respect in terms of just accuracy and reliability but I wouldn't trade it for the Pixel 6a simply because I think the in-display feels more modern. You get the bigger screen and you don't have the bezel to have that, you know, touch ID physical sensor. So in order to get this on the front without being in display, they have to create this bezel or keep it the same as before. So I wouldn't make that sacrifice, but all in all, the SE a little bit better, I think, on the fingerprint speed and accuracy. All right, guys, so before we get into the actual speed test portion, I just wanna talk about general OS performance, and it's about the same. They both do have 60 hertz panels. I can say I do believe iOS looks slightly smoother to my eyes on 60 hertz. I feel like Pixel 6a would have benefited from at least a 90 hertz panel. Um, Android just doesn't look as smooth on 60 hertz as Apple does, so. Definitely notice that. However, speed wise, it's not really a big difference. They're both very fast. It's just, I can tell after looking at 90 Hertz and 120 Hertz Android phones, it just doesn't look as smooth, but it's still very fast and it's still a really good value. So let's go ahead and begin with this application speed test. We'll begin with calendar. You can see much faster for the SE. That could be because Google Calendar is more of a cloud-based calendar though. Let's go into calculator. You can see faster on the SE, we'll go into clock. Faster again on the SE, we'll go into Instagram. You can see Instagram, that might've been the SE, it was pretty close there. There's a Pixel 6a again. And when we go into like, just actually running around the application, it's basically the same thing, so no big difference. We'll go into Twitter. I missed that one, let me get up out of there. Let's go into Twitter one more time, three, two, go. And you can see pretty good. We'll head up out of there. Groupon. And you can see it looks like the SE categories. That was the pixel, things to do. And that was the pixel. So the pixel can be faster depending on the application. We'll go into ESPN. And you can see ESPN is first for the right there. We'll head up out of there. We'll go into Amazon. You can see faster on the SE. And you've seen that scroll was a little bit choppier on the Pixel. That's something I noticed the SE still got that smooth, slow iOS scroll. So that's still gonna be there. We'll go into Best Buy. And you can see Best Buy faster on the SE. We'll hit products faster on the Pixel. So they can trade here depending. We'll go into cell phones. You can see pretty close. We'll go into eBay. And when I make these comments in the video, I don't see every little thing. So if you're like, it wasn't that one, Nick. What are you talking about, my guy? Listen. I'm just look, I'm looking through a camera, looking at both phones, trying to monitor the audio at the same time. So if I make a little comment and it's wrong, you, you could call me out on it. Just say, no, it wasn't that. It was this side. It was that side. It was that app. It was this app. Just let me know. I'm not, you know, some machine. I'm a human just like you. Let's get up out of here. Let's go into Starbucks. And you can see Starbucks first on the right. Let's head up out of there. And I do believe the Pixel will feel faster because you can swipe up out of there faster than the SE. So 
Even though the SE can load applications a hair quicker because you can come home faster on the Pixel, it makes up for that little hair of a difference on both. So gaming, usually the SE is in the lead and it kind of is here once again. You can see we're just getting a little ad thingy. Let me skip this. SE was already ready to get to the matches though for PUBG. And you can see still waiting a little bit on the Pixel here. And let's hit the X sign here. We'll hit OK. And there we are. We're ready to go to PUBG matching. So in the lobby, oh, I got to hit OK here, but we're ready to go there. So definitely SE a little faster, a little those more graphically intensive games. Let's go to Dead Trigger 2. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 first there for the right. We'll go into play. And you can see loading up at about the same time. This is not a graphically intensive game. It's not hard to load. Been loading it for years, so no major issue. I think some people wanted me to add Subway Surfers. Let me know if you want to see some extra games added to the list. Let's go into Asphalt 9 for the loading for the future speed tests. And you can see that the iPhone SE, a hair in the lead. I've seen Android beat Apple on Asphalt 9, though. We'll see if Pixel can take it here because Asphalt 9 can take a second to load sometimes. And you can see, yep, Android won this one again, or Google Pixel 6a versus SC. So a little faster there. So again, it's going to be down to the optimization of the app. We'll go into Crossy Road on both of them. And you'll find that Crossy Road will load here first on, oop, I wasn't ready on that one. I'm not 17. I'm just putting in anything. Let's reload those. I wasn't ready on that one. Come on, Nick, you've been doing this for years. Aren't you ready? Come on, man. It's because I'm too excited to see which one wins. Let's go into, you know, Crossy Road and just kind of see which one wins there. So pretty close. I mean, not a big deal, nevertheless. So overall, I would say in the speed, I wouldn't pick it based on this. You know, yes, the SE does have the faster chip technically in benchmarks, but you've seen how well the Pixel 6a did for just like $20 more. You're getting a bigger screen, dual camera, OLED display, LCD display, and I don't know. You let me know what you want, which one you think is the value proposition here. All right, now let's just kind of go back through each phone, see which one, how they do. Again, six gigs of RAM here, four gigs of RAM on the SE, kind of like the iPhone 11. Let's go over here. You can see pretty good. Not butter smooth here on the reloads. There goes a reload for eBay. Looks like we're getting a reload there on Best Buy. So not butter smooth here, another reload on Amazon, ESPN reloading. So Pixel not holding these applications quite as well. That could be because they have these battery modes that kind of close apps to save battery life in the background. I'm not sure if that's related. That might be an issue though, but overall it can still, it's not lagging up. It just seems to close some apps in the background. Let's go into the iPhone SE. And again, Apple's really smooth with holding this stuff. They kind of pause the image, make it look like the apps open, tricks you sometimes. Truth is, is that going through applications is very fast affair on the Apple experience. So still, I would probably give the nod here to the SE and just kind of going back through the applications, but that'll really matter when you're doing a bunch of stuff at once. Like when you're doing a, going to your bank app, going to here, going to there, you know, doing a thing on travel, application you're gonna go back write a note do a pen do this do that you know what i'm saying Ugh. yeah that stuff <laughs> that's probably gonna be slightly faster on the se but by a hair these phones are still both very fast okay guys so let's go to a web browsing test we'll go into apple.com three two go see which one can load this first apple's got their own site but not by a lot again the scroll looks choppier but faster on the pixel it looks smoother but slower on the SE. I think experience wise, I'd probably pick the SE. It looks a little bit better to my eye. We're going to learn more about the iPhone 13 loading again, scrolling a little choppier on the pixel, but loading times pretty similar on this Chrome versus Safari test here. There's no Safari available for the pixel. All right, for this next test, we're gonna go to the Google store, kind of like the same site where you buy the pixels. Let's go three, two, go. See which one is faster here and the pixel was quicker on that one by the way if you're seeing this ad right here you could actually get this pixel with a trade-in for like 150 bucks that's ridiculous for what you're getting over here so what a deal 
it is. A lot of people say, well, you're trading, you're trading your data and advertising, it's Android, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have full control of that too, unless you're just gonna let it track you. Why don't you go into the settings and get your stuff private and stop letting it track you? It's really up to how you use the phone. But we're not gonna get into the privacy discussion here. That's just a heck of a deal when you talk about the hardware you're getting here on the left. Browsing wise though, a little smoother on Safari, fast on the Pixel, scrolling a little choppy, that's due to the 60 hertz panel. Overall though, both gonna browse very well, both 5G phones. So let's go ahead and open the cameras. I have a phone we're gonna review soon here. You can kind of get a little sneak peek of that with our camera test here on both phones. Let's go ahead and open up the cameras in three, two, go. And you can see the SE a little faster with that. Although I do prefer the Pixel setup, I know it sounds biased, but come on, it's two cameras versus one. In addition, with the Pixel, I get an ultra wide camera. Let's go into cameras here again. Then the Pixel is fast. So on the initial launch, the SE is quicker, but Pixel catches up after it's had a time to load and keep it in the background. So not bad there overall. So let's just bring it all together. Let's wrap it up. Who is really gonna pick the SE or the Pixel 6a? Well, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you want a cheaper iPhone entry level, you'll enjoy the SE. But if you're not, you know, kind of just stuck on Apple or stuck on Android, you kind of don't care, you're just looking for the best deal, I think the Pixel 6a has got this phone easily beat. It's just the processor is just boss status on the SE and that's what really keeps it in contention at all. Like if it wasn't for the processor, it'd be no contest. Dual camera here, 6.1 inch display, way bigger battery. Yes, there's faster charging on the SE, but the battery life is nowhere near competitive in my experience with this phone. So overall, it's a really great deal. Both of these are good deals overall for getting premium kind of feeling phones at a cheaper price, but Apple needs to bring a bigger display to the next SE. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this one right here. Do you agree? Do you disagree with some of my comments? Do you agree with the performance? Which one do you prefer? Did you order either? Or you don't care about either of these? Or are you just watching because you have a premium phone, but you just enjoy checking out phones? Let us know down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.